Hello, hello, relax. You all will be attended to. You understand? It is just 8 o'clock now. What it is 9 o'clock? We all attended to you, and you know we are dead to our customers by 9 o'clock. Male, Pale, I beg, relax. A little patient, please. Please. Hey, I'm going to go for Come on for road, Come on for road, Come on for for road, Maoga. Oga me. Sorry, sir, welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Eyes. Oga Gita. My son, is that Richard? Richie, my man. Check it out. <laughs> ah, <laughs> so sleek. Mm? What? <coughs> Money well spent. You know that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thanks, man. Money Thanks. Sense. Wow. Nice car, right? Yep. <laughs> you two will soon be balling, my friend. Wow. If you're ready to play the game. Wow. <laughs> See, I've already put in a good word for you with the boss. So don't worry about it. Eh? Wow. You know now. <laughs> you know what I go for? Bad guy. What's up? <laughs> Charles. Charles. What are you thinking about? Look, I'm sure it's about the house he told me he wants to build for his wife. He wants to fix it. He will fix it. It will not be better for you and your old age. Look how you treat old people like us. Hey. My beginning what in this now? Look on our boss now. 35 good years. And they said that we should even contribute to our pension. We did. Now, pay us our money, it becomes a problem. Yeah. Hey. This one would die here. What happened? What happened? Hey, Akka. What happened? Come, come, come. Ah. Hey. Can we all have this one? Papa. Ah. Papa. Sorry. Sorry, Papa. Hey. Hey, Oga, thank you. Oga, thank you. Sorry, Oga, if you they go. Sorry. Thank you, yeah. Thank you. God bless you, yeah. One and over, so. Papa, sorry, yeah. Ah, Papa! Papa, wait! Papa! Uh, all right, now. <laughs> so tell us, where are you taking us to celebrate this, your new toy? Mama blesses Buka. <laughs> Mama blesses Buka. Rich, <laughs> rich. <laughs> What's going on? Sir, this man deceived an officer of the law. He deceived me, sir. Baba? I've told you before, Baba. These things take time. See, Baba, come back. Come back next month. As you can see, I'm busy for now. These things are very hard. Mm -hmm. I'm staying with my granddaughter. We need this money. We have nothing to eat in the house. Besides, she was sent out of school because I couldn't pay her school fees. Please, my son. Please. In the name of God. Baba, help me. Please. Baba, what? Baba, Baba. Please help me. Baba, what? Baba, please stand up. Baba, Baba, please. Baba, please. Baba, please. Baba, please. Baba, please. Baba, please. Just stand up. It's okay. It's okay. Baba, stand up. Don't worry, I will help you process your payments. Oh God. It's okay. Okay. I will see to it that you get paid. Just go and come back tomorrow. I will handle your payments. Everything will be fine. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Take care. Better don't listen to these to these old men. 
most of them lie at their old age. You'll be surprised that, that this one is looking for money to give to some small girls before he joins his ancestors in heaven. They're lying up and down. Good morning, Richard here. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. In a minute. Charles. Yeah? The boss wants you. Yeah? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. L let me call you back. All right. Okay. Charles, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. So, how are you enjoying the atmosphere at the headquarters? <sighs> Very well, sir. Everyone has been welcoming, sir. So, how long have you worked at One Gate? Um, it's about nine years now, sir. Nine years. But you only just moved to the headquarters in the last uh, four months or so. Yes, uh, four months or two weeks, sir. I see, I see. I heard that you're a very ambitious young man. And you're working on building a house in the next two to three years. <laughs> um, sir, one can only pray and hope. With the way things are, um, that would take me no less than 20 years to achieve oh, it. Oh, <laughs> It can be shorter. I mean, two, three years, or even this year. Nothing is impossible. I have uh, six. Six? Yeah, and it didn't take me this long. If you're willing and ready, we can help each other. That would be great, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, meanwhile, please help drop this off at the uh, document management office for processing. OK, sir. And Charles? One more. You're a good man. I'm sure your family appreciates that. Don't let them down. I won't say. Thank you, sir. Are you waiting for someone? Waiting for someone? No. I'm just whiling away the time. So that at least I'll save the transport money. And be the first person to be attended to tomorrow. But I already promised you I will attend to you tomorrow. Uh, you don't have to wait here, OK? All the same, there's no problem. I will wait. <sighs> no, Baba. Uh, just come in. I'm taking you home. Charles, I have to thank you very much. Uh, we have a very good road. <laughs> uh, we'll see you. Thank you. Uh, Baba, please wait. Sorry. I overheard you say you have a granddaughter at home. Yes. Fee Sarah. What's her name? My granddaughter. A replicant of her mother. Oh. My late daughter. She died in a motor accident with her husband about two years ago. Oh, that's so sad. Very caring, very smart, very intelligent. Aren't you worried leaving her at home all by herself? I have no choice. I have no choice. And that's why we are worried about this money. If that money comes, she'll be able to go back to school and continue her education. We pay our rent, and then put food, real food in our bellies. Please, it's okay, as you have promised, try your best so that I get this money. I promise, I'll make sure you get paid. I promise. Thank you very much. Thank you. My regards to Fegisa. 
It's okay, my dear. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Dreaming again of what she would look like. Maybe. I waited for almost six years for her to get in there. I can still wait a little longer. I'm just thinking about a very beautiful surprise gift I'm going to get her. Baby, I can tell there's something wrong. Spill. Mr. Charles. Mama. Ah, Baba. How's work? Well, Baba. Yeah. I've been very, very busy since I came in today and sorting out files, attending to lots of people and You asked me to come back today. Yes, yes. I You I promised. Did. I promised. But what will happen right now is that you have to go and come back tomorrow. I will check it when I'm done. Okay. Baba, please. Somebody just get an ambulance or something, Baba. I don't know, I don't know. Please, somebody just get an ambulance for me, please. Baba, sorry. Can somebody just do something? Don't stand and look at me. It's okay, Baba. Baba, just breathe. Baba. Baba, look at me. Baba. Baba. Please, somebody do something. He's not breathing anymore. Baba, please, just. Baba, stay with me, okay? Baba. Somebody, what's going on? Somebody just get an ambulance. Morning. I was told to come here for the pension payout records. Why do you need them? I want to know if one of the pensioners' documents has been cleared for payment. Okay, just a minute. Okay. It is recorded here that all payments for last year has been cleared. Yeah, that's right. I signed up myself. It has all been paid. How come it wasn't paid? Who? Can I see the names of those that have been paid, please? It's there. The last document. Okay.
His name is listed here amongst those that have been paid. That means he has been paid? No, he hasn't. How possible is that? Could you photocopy this for me, please? Please make it two copies. All right. I heard about what happened yesterday about that man. It's so unfortunate. It's so sad, sir. We see these things happen. So, what can I do for you? Sir, I think something fishy is happening. Oh, what? Here, sir. What's this? So, that list has the names of pensioners that have been paid, and Baba's name is included, but he was never paid. Okay, I'll look into it. I'll take my leave now, sir. Hey, come to my office right away. How could you guys be so careless? Oh, you left the document in his office. Now, I don't, I don't want to know how you get it. But you must get rid of all this evidence. Hang it on someone, whatever. I don't care. We will do something about it, sir. I'm fast. I can't believe it. What's this? Same chance. Patrick, I have a problem. And I need your help. Okay. You know, an incident happened in my office um, some days ago. One of the pensioners died in my hands. And I feel so responsible for his death because I, I promised to help him and I failed him. That's, that's, that's so sad. Yeah, that's so sad. that's so sad. And before he died, he mentioned the name of his granddaughter in my ears. I'm very sure he wants me to get the money for her. So while I was trying to process this payment, I realized that someone in my office has cleared his money. I reported this to my boss who promised to do something about it. Later on, I realized that, I don't know, he's, he's behind this. And I'm so confused right now. Do you have any evidence in respect to this? What brings you to my office today? So, I overheard you talking to Frank and Richard some days ago, and I intend reporting the case to the authorities. I thought I should let you know first. Are you threatening me, Charles? No, sir. I just want to do the right thing. The right thing, eh? Yes, sir. I had big dreams for you. You know, I intended to make you to make something out of your life. But here you are now, sitting in my office and telling me this nonsense just because you came across some little paperwork. How, how do you think we're going to help you live your dream? Build your house? Come on, don't be naive. Allow me help you. Thank you very much, son, for everything. But what is wrong is wrong. Pensioners, they die every day because they're not paid their dues. While people like you and I will sleep at night comfortably well, causing sleeplessness to many. Spare me the preaching. Do you know how hard it is to keep a family? I did everything I did for my family so as to secure them a bright future. I have no regrets for what I did. No. And don't be ungrateful for the opportunity I'm offering. Do you know how hard it is to keep a family? I did everything I did for my family so as to secure them a bright future. Forward it immediately into my phone. Okay. Please right away. All right. The 
the managing director of One Gate Pensions and two of its subordinates have been arrested following a case filed against them by the renowned lawyer Patrick Rung on behalf of Charles D.K. of One Gate Pensions. The arrest took place earlier today at the One Gate Pension headquarters by men of the Financial Crime Unit of the Zone. So what's going to happen to Faisal? They will be remanded in custody. What do you think about her being here? In other news, the police are also in.